Hey guys, John here again with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is replacing the charging port or the dock connector. Most of you guys will probably call it the charging port. It's obviously where the charger goes in to charge your iPhone. This is for the iPhone 5 and on a level of difficulty, I'd probably say moderate. It's just uh, what you need to do is be a bit patient, but it's it's nothing too hard and it's not rocket science. So the first step is making sure you have the right tools. What you need is a pentalobe screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, a spudger or separating tool or something similar that you can find in the house. Now the link below will give you a link on where to, you can purchase this and by all means all the kits do generally come with the pentalobe screwdriver and the Phillips head screwdriver. Now if you're not sure if it's a charging port the most common indicator is, obviously it doesn't charge, but sometimes it can be even another problem. But most repairs that I see come into my shop actually are charging port issues. Uh, a lot of customers do say that the charger starts to die, and if they do actually wiggle it around, it will actually um, sometimes charge. This is a very good indicator. If, if you do wiggle it around and it sometimes turns on and turns off the actual charger, it definitely is the actual charging port. Now, let's get started. The first step is, at the bottom, to take out the two bottom screws. Now, the bottom screws are done with a pentalobe screwdriver, and they're very simple. They're on the left and right side of that actual charging port. As you can see in this uh, iPhone example, it's pretty bashed up, so uh, the screws have popped out. Now, once you've done that, in between the frame and the actual screen you get something sharp or something thin like what I've got here and then you just pry in between and you lift up and then you twist or you can even use your hand and lift it up now lift it up from the bottom end up only at a 45 degree angle because you're going to be greeted with at the top cables connecting the LCD to the actual logic board now that's secured by a metal frame what you need to do is remove that metal frame. So as you can see, you just get the three screws here. And put the screws aside. If you're not confident with putting the screws aside, in the link below I've got an image of a screw mat or a screw chart and it shows you where all the screws go. And what you can do is print it off and put blue tack and stick the screws in the relevant places. A lot of customers and a lot of people find this a lot lot easier to do. Now, once you've taken those three, those three screws off, take the plate off. I'll just take this screw here, just forward. Okay, now, what you need to do is, there are three cables here. You need to disconnect them so you can disconnect the LCD. So you lift the first one. Then you lift the second one, and oh, I'll just put some more light on there. Okay, and then you lift the third one, and then that LCD is disconnected. So we put that aside, we've got, we don't have to deal with the LCD anymore. And now we need to focus on the southern end of the iPhone 5. As you can see, here is the dock connector. I'm not going to ramble on too much about it. What we just need to do is remove it. It's as simple as that. So we're going to take out a few more screws and I'm actually going to get my screw chart so I don't forget things. Because you want to put the screws in the same place. The reason being is screws are different lengths and sometimes they can go through the other side and not look too appealing. So we need to take in the mid region off these two plates. They're actually separate plates secured by three screws. So it's fairly straightforward. Take that, the first one. We take the second one. Then we take the third one. As you can see, like my plate's already coming up because it's been taken off before. But on a fresh iPhone that's never been disassembled, 
it actually might be stuck a bit with a bit of adhesive. So you might have to pry it up. So don't feel like you're going to do any damage. You just pry it up a bit and then put that aside. And then the second one, you take off and you put that aside. So you're greeted with two cable connectors. The first one on the right goes to the actual uh, dock connector. The second one is for the battery. So let's take off the battery one first. And the second one, we take off the dock connector. I've actually taken this one off, so just if you do knock that off, put it back on. So, dock connector. You can use your fingers, I'm just using a spudger because I don't want to get in the way of the camera. Now, once that's done, you lift this up. This will have adhesive here, and you just lift it, and it might be a bit sticky. Then you lift the battery up. Okay, some tutorials uh, recommend taking the battery out. I will, just to make a bit of room, but you can get away without taking the battery out. But if you do take the battery out, just do it from this end and then slide underneath with something that, that can fit in there, like a, well, I wouldn't say a knife, but something, you know, thin. Uh, so, you know, it, it's going to be very, very, you know, hard to take off because it's stuck there. You might feel like you're going to break it, but if you be a bit patient and work up and down and up and down, you'll eventually be able to get under there, lift it up, and, um, you know, go from there. So once that's taken off, you're pretty much greeted with the bottom dock connector that needs to be taken out. Okay, so I'll just try and get a good view of it here for you guys. And the screws you just need to take out are as follows. I'm not going to show you them all. I'm just going to take them out. And you can follow me. By all means, just pause the video as you take them out with me because you want to get this right. There's no specific order. But to, as we get to the left, it can get, get a bit tricky here. So I'll just show you what I mean. So first of all, on the far right, we take the, the bottom one out. And this one, because this phone is a bit bashed around, it's going to be hard to take out, but most of them should be fine. You take it out. That's the far right. Okay, then the two bottom ones here, we take them out. Okay, that's the first one. Whoop, let me just put that aside. And the second one. And the third one. And the fourth one. As you can see, they're different lengths. And that's why I want you to put everything on your screw chart so you know where they go. And, and the great thing is, is that when you put everything back together, you can do it so fast. Okay, now, we've taken one, two, three, four, five. And then there's this one, okay? This one sits on top of a cable that goes around the side. So when you take these two out, this cable is going to fall out by itself. Just remember how it goes on. And unfortunately, this is fairly bashed around this, this iPhone. Okay, so it's hard for me to take some of the screws out. Now we pretty much have everything unscrewed. And we're ready to take off the, the speaker. But we can't take that off yet because there's a little adhesive sticker. And what you need to do is, I'll get my tweezers and I'm going to show you. Sorry, I'm just putting the light closer. Under here, and you just lift up. It's very simple. It's very simple. And you just lift it up and leave it like that, okay? Because what you're going to do is with the new dock connector you put in, you're going to fold that back over. And now we take off the actual loudspeaker. So the way to do this is, the best way to actually do it, is the loudspeaker goes under the logic board a bit. 
Uh, so let it pop up a bit and then slide it forward and jimmy it out. So you just kind of shake it out. And I'll show you what I mean. Like this, this actual bit towards the end, it goes under the logic board. So you just got to jimmy it out a bit. Put that aside, the loudspeaker. Obviously, if you need to replace the loudspeaker as well, you just put a new one in. But um, if you're just doing the actual dock connector, keep the old loudspeaker because that's fine. You don't need the actual, um, you know, to replace the loudspeaker as well. Now you'll see a little cable here. I'll just show you it. You can just pop it up like so. And it should lift up like that. Now. Okay, now we move over to the left hand side. Now, at the left hand side, I'll show you what's there, is that cable I told you about. It's kind of stick, stuck to the actual uh, audio jack, but you just lift it with a pair of tweezers, or you can even use your hands. I'm just using tweezers so I don't get in front of the camera. And you just lift it off like that. And just remember how it went on. Just see here, it goes like that, and then it curves around to where that screw hole is and sits on top of that screw hole. So remember that, okay? And put that aside. If you're, if you're unsure, uh, you know, just reverse back to the video on how I've taken it off, because it's always good to get this part right. So put that aside. Now, we're left with the final part, and that's taking off the dock connector. So what you need to do is just start from the top here and slowly peel away. If it is really stuck, actually this one is fairly stuck, you can use a, a heat gun or a hair dryer just to heat it up a bit so the adhesive does come off. And then you slowly jiggle it out and there we go. We have a dock connector or a charging port removed. Now all you need to do is get the new charging port and put it in the back of, in, in on your iPhone and do everything in reverse. It's uh, not as complex as it seems. A lot of repairers and shops that you take it to will tell you otherwise. Uh, don't listen to them. As you can see this video, it's taken me 12 minutes and I've been showing you step by step how, how to do this so it can even take a lot quicker if you're confident. So um, thanks for watching again guys and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.